everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I've said it in other videos, I started adding more parts to the Harbach site. More kits will be coming soon also this year. Okay, so stay tuned. Just go through the uh, various uh, miscellaneous parts page, and I also have them on different uh, category pages for different amps. All right, so we have a Drake L7 here. These are awesome amps. This is rare. These are worth a lot of money. So I took it apart so you can see the inside. So looks like someone took the two capacitors out, the air variable caps uh, for the C1, C2 plate load. You can tell by solder joints. I don't know if they took the band switch out. It's just, I don't know. Um, plates look okay, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to change this cap. These usually fail. I'm going to check the uh, meter dropping resistors. Looks discolored in the tube. I don't know if it's just from heat or what, but I make sure they're okay. I clean the switches already. Change the meter lamp bulbs. There are four of them. So, um, I'll show you the bottom. This is how I know they took them out. One of the reasons. I can tell this cap nuts new. So I don't know if they they might have changed the padding caps, or maybe they did that to take the band switch out. They may have taken the, taken the band switch out to take the detent out because it has a 10 meter mod. So look, look how long these screws are. If it didn't have the felt pad, it would be longer than the plastic foot. So I'm gonna I don't want to put a Dremel on this because this guy should bit it slid off and nicked something that would be really bad. So I'm going to put another nut on here. I don't want to break it off right at the cap nut. So I'll put another one on here, another cap nut, and then I'll put another nut, and then actually a regular nut, and then another nut, and use two wrenches, and I'll snap it off. Um, actually, a washer, then a nut, snap it off. And uh, I haven't done that in a while, so I might not need a washer, but all four. And someone lengthened the wire when they took the filter out and it stops it from working around 12 to 10 I believe change this cap so I'm going to put one continuous piece in I'm going to ground the grids I'll clean the TR slash bias relay put in a diet you know protect a meter protection diode between the B negative and the chassis um, I already checked the meters they're okay power supply is getting a hard box kit I'll change the 5k resistor in there and I'm going to, uh, those are prone to failing sometimes, or they get really hot. I'll put a higher wattage one in there, and I'll change the uh, 50K resistors to 100K. Not really any room in here for the bias diode, so let's say put them over here. But I'm just going to do that. That works great. Runs a lot cooler. Takes care of that problem. And um, clean the input rotor switch to deoxy gold, output rotor switch to deoxy gold, and... Uh, Anything else it needs, so I'm going to get to work. I will see you guys in a bit, okay? Please stay tuned, and again, please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so I'm back with the power supply part. I got the RF deck done. I'm going to do a video on that before I do the test, just so I don't have to take it all apart again. At least all the bottom panels. Okay, so... This is getting a, this is super clean. I'm going to put on some foam to protect it. Uh, super, super clean. Super, super clean. Transformer is really clean. So I'm going to change the filter caps as the original ones. Put the Harbach board in. You have to be careful. I keep saying this. There are a lot of, there's some fake boards out there. They use really crappy caps. They don't show you the side of the caps they just show you the top and um, I've, ha I've had amplifiers come in where caps have actually popped and uh, one actually actually two different boards where they actually popped and it looked like it possibly burnt up like lit on fire a little bit or something so I use all new stock highest quality parts no used stuff from some unknown source. Parts come from DigiKey and Mauser. I also put the fish paper behind it just in case someone you know, were to assemble it and they 
or actually it's not about really assembling, when you go to put the uh, leads through for the transformer secondary, you know, if they were to put them through too far, it could touch the chassis at ground, which is at ground potential. So the, those or the uh, B positive wire. So it comes with fish paper. Stop that. Okay, so I'll also change these two resistors. I don't have them. I had to order them. Just they, uh, these are used to put the tubes in a cutoff, and you know, I put in 100k resistors, 200k, so they they run a lot cooler, and they still put the tubes into cutoff. Okay, so I'll replace the high voltage B positive wires because this stuff is like super super rigid. I sell the high voltage wire, really nice stuff on the hard box site now. So that's about it. I'm gonna get to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything I did to the RF deck and then I'll put the tubes in, hook it all up, and do a power test. So I grounded the grid connections on the sockets right to the chassis, clean the TR slash bias relay with deoxid gold. I put one continuous piece of coax in because they, like I showed in the other video, they had cut, they had taken the filter out and they, they jumped the wire, which was really uh, the right way to do it. Um, clean the input rotary switch with deoxid gold. This screw for the ground connection for this piece of coax was like really loose. I went around and tightened up on other hardware also. Changed the electrolytic cap over here. I put a little bit of silicone between the cap and the chassis. Just so, you know, when I need it. But just so it's not vibrating possibly. Or if this thing ever gets shipped. Just, you know, during shipping I don't want it to uh, ever, you know, have an issue where a lead could break. So... About it for the bottom. Zip tied the wires too. 10 meter mod was already done. Has the mica cap in there for that, and you know, so I didn't have to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put the covers on the bottom here. I'll flip it over and show you the top. Uh, these nuts were also loose, and I snapped these off. The I didn't uh, put a double nut. I tried that. That didn't work. So I just carefully. I put another nut on there and then I bent it back and forth and snapped them. So those are set. The SO239s are, are good. I didn't have to change those. This is older than me and believe it or not, they're good. The ones in the Ameritrons are just poor quality. That's what that's about. So I only change them if they need to be changed on amps like this. The Ameritrons I always change because they one's either usually bad or almost bad or will be bad. So I just change them. I don't I don't, um, doesn't take long and they're cheap. So, okay, so I'll be back in a second. See you guys soon. Almost forgot to add that I, I put in a diode between the B negative rail and the chassis. So, that'll protect the play cur current meter. Okay, see you guys. Okay, so, here's the top. I always put in these doorknob caps. I make little copper strips and secure everything nice, nice. Um, so, uh, originally I had ceramic disc caps. I don't know where I put them around or somewhere, but they don't handle really much on 10 meters. You have more current there on 10 meters, so I just do it so the customer doesn't have a problem down the road. You know, proactive, I like to be proactive with things, so they don't have to send it back. Okay, so check the dropping resistors for the high voltage meter, they were fine. I always add this cap here. They put this thing in here, and this thing's prone to failing. It's like a cheap the way they, you know, they, this was a cheap trick, you know, or a cheap capacitor trick, I should say, but they're prone to failing, so you don't want that to happen. So put a nice doorknob cap in there, it's 50 puff, and um, ready for 7.5 kV. 5 is fine also, but I just happen to have some 7.5s. So that's all set. Make sure the coil was away from the air variable cap. Um, okay, so clean the switches. They were actually not like I push it in and they weren't staying. You have to do it like a few times. So those are nice and clean. 
Change the meter lamp bulbs, all four. And clean the band switch with the Oxygold. Tighten up on more hardware. So this is getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. I'm gonna put my test tubes in. Customers buying new tubes directly from Penta. They'll be drop shipped from Penta. Uh, he had IMAX and they were gassy and they're from, they're old. He'll get them back if he wants them back. But I think they were like 1980 or something, so. Older than me. Okay, so. Okay, that's about it. I'm gonna put the tubes in, cover on, bring the supply over here. I'm gonna throw some stuff out on my workbench, put some tools away, and I'm gonna fire it up and start testing it. I have to text the customer to see which band he'd like to see it working on. And then, uh, you guys will see it working. Okay, stay tuned. Please like, share, and subscribe. AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com. See you guys soon. So the supply has been completed. I always change that resistor. I add a new wire for the B negative. I zip tie it. Uh, silver plated stranded center conductor, Teflon dielectric. I have a ton of it. I've said that a million times. So brand new Harbach board in there. So I'm going to test it with the stock 50K resistors, but I'll change them out. I had to order the 100K ones. That'll They'll just run cooler. They'll still put the tube tubes in a cutoff. A lot less heat in here with the other resistors. A lot less. So I'll um, also change the high voltage wire at that point also. But And then after I do that, I'll zip tie the wires. So this thing is nice and clean, super clean. I have it on this foam, so it's protected. So, put the cover back on and then I'm gonna test it, okay? So I will see you guys soon, stay tuned. Take a good look at this. Be right back. Okay, so we got it fired up here. Customer wants to see working on 20, so I already did 160, 80, 40. I'm gonna do 20 here in the video, then I'll try 15 and 10. So, radio set to roughly 90 watts or so, 2500 watt slug, PP kit is on, it's a genuine bird kit, and going into a bird dummy load. Okay, audio, hello, 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 1250 right there, 1250, 1250, 1250, tet, 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 on the higher voltage setting, tet, 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 hello, 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 good current. Tet, 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 hello, hello, forward, tet, 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 reverse, I mean, that was four, three thousand, four, three hundred, tet, 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 shh, shh, shh. audio, reflect, nothing, nothing, and then, uh, let's put it back on, let's put it on here, a little less voltage, tet, 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 hello, 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 audio, hello, 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 just under a kilowatt, tet, 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 don't ever switch this under load, and don't ever switch the band switch under load. The right, it's right in between. It's kind of a bad spot. So just, I'm gonna suggest he put something on here. So when he goes to, because you're usually looking at the meter when you're adjusting these, just so you don't switch that by accident. That would be bad. Okay, so I'm gonna finish testing it, and uh, that'll be it. So I appreciate everybody watching, and uh, if you have any comments, please feel free to make a comment. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. This power supply is so quiet. It's like, you can't even hear it. Usually there's some sort of noise from the transformer, like when you go to load it, but I don't hear it. I don't really hear anything. So, but, okay, thanks for watching. Hope everyone has a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. And it's Friday. It's time to relax when I'm done with this. Weekend time. Finally... Finally better. I'm like 99.9% .9 there. It was like a sinus type uh, infection type thing. So, okay. Catch you guys later. 73.